Hello, it's Emil Beer here with another Minecraft on Graphing Calculator video. Um, if you haven't seen my previous one, there should be an annotation on screen now. You can check it out. Um, it has more of an in-depth description of how it works. But the purpose of this video is to show how I made an addition to it. A uh, rather cool addition, I think. Anyway, let's go right in and generate a quick level. It's very similar to how it used to be. Um, at least the, t the part that exists. And um, So go ahead and just set up a nice level. And you can check tweak these headings to whatever you want and it will generate you a world. Just turn the speed up there so you don't have to wait. Um, you can see it has different kinds of terrain, randomly, each step randomly generated. So no, no world will ever be the same, almost definitely. And there's some trees. So you can dig around, you can go up and you can place blocks. It's just total creative mode for now. But then um, enter toggles between place and delete by the way. And then you can go down to the bottom and there's a cave level down here. That's that's the new added part. Um, yeah, it generates the one strip cave across. You remember from the old video if you saw it, and then it will also generate a couple four. Actually, it'll generate four pocket caves as you can see it doing right here. And when it's done, it'll be you have to press enter and you toggle a pixel, and you'll see where your cursor is. You can build down here too. You can swap between the bottom and the top as many times as you want, and it will save your progress each time you swap at least until you close the program. So you, you, oh, it's not done yet. Just doing one more cave. So yeah, you can go between the top and the bottom as many times as you want. And there's the pixel. You can also build down here. And then when you go back up to the top of the map here, you're up here. And you can build and then go back down and it'll save it. Um, just keep in mind that um, when you do close the program, it'll probably erase all your stuff. It might keep them in some picture files, but yeah. I might add a saving feature in later if you if you guys want. If you do want that, it'd be easy. Just let me know in the comments, and I'll throw it in. But this will be available as a download, and the links will be in the description. Um, you'll need the picture file called pic0.8xi and mine mstr.8px. And you need to put those on your calculator using some kind of graph link program. TI Connect works really well. Um, anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. and. Hope to see you around later.